changing your environment variable, uh, the path environment variable on Windows. Now, unfortunately, I don't have access to a Windows operating system right now. Um, and so I can only direct you to uh, a website that can help explain it. This one happens to be from Oracle, but it doesn't really matter. It does come with screenshots and that's a good thing. Now the idea uh, of what we're trying to do is you want to open up a command prompt. You don't want to open up anaconda prompt. You want to open up a command prompt. Your command prompt won't look exactly like this, but it's similar to this. So I'm opening up a terminal window. Um, but you should begin by, um, by opening um, a command prompt and then type where Python, no quotes. Let's see if we can see where Python is. You'll say where Python. Now that usually should elicit one or more paths that show where Python is supposed to be located. Uh, uh, if your operating system is aware of where Python is. In many cases, it isn't, especially on Windows. Um, and so our goal here is to tell the operating system where Python is so that our where Python command will work, uh, so that it will show us where Python is. But more importantly, so that when we execute Python from the command line, your operating system is gonna know where it is. Now, in order to do that, we must edit something called the path variable. This variable um, uh, shows the OS where to look for uh, any given program or command entered at the command line. So our goal uh, is to tell the OS where Python is because we want to be able to just say to the OS, hey, run Python, and have the OS say, okay, I'll go find it for you. The path variable contains a number of file paths. File paths like uh, c colon backslash users david uh, anaconda3 uh, bin python exe, which may be the location of Python for some of you. What we're going to need to do is figure out where that is. And it's not necessarily here. It could be in any number of places. Um, but if your where Python uh, doesn't uh, give you any um, doesn't give you any joy if you're not able to see where Python is if it doesn't give you a path then we're going to need to ask uh, Python uh, we're going to need to change the path variable the very first thing we're going to need to do is figure out where Python is now if you've set up your um, your PyCharm to work with Python then we can find out the path quite easily it's actually very easy we would simply say import os and print os dot, um, no, I'm sorry, import sys and then uh, print sys.executable. And that would be if your Python is already connected uh, to, to uh, this project, which isn't necessarily the case. But as you can see, when I do that, I do see the path. So if you're able to get it from PyCharm, what you'll want to do is copy this path onto your clipboard. Um, you can leave it here and come get it later, or you can paste it into a file, whatever you'd like to do. But as long as it's available to you, you'll be able to proceed. On the other hand, if your, your PyCharm is not connected to Python and you're unable to find it, we're going to have to find it by some other means. Um, one way we can do that is by opening an Anaconda prompt. Uh, so, um, we've got PyCharm, we've also got the Anaconda prompt. If you have installed Anaconda, you should be able to search for and find Anaconda prompt by typing Anaconda uh, in the search box. Again, your search box on Windows is different. It's on the lower left. And if you click it there and type Anaconda, 
hopefully one of the uh, choices will be Anaconda prompt. You would then, um, at that prompt, type where Python, and then it should come up. That would be your second option. Now, if neither of those options work, for example, if you have a, a version of Python installed that is not from Anaconda, your PyCharm is not connected to Python, um, we're not sure where Python is located, and your where Python command is not working at the command prompt, then we're going to need to find it elsewhere. Uh, it is possible that it's located somewhere in your home directory. It's also possible that it's located somewhere else. If you're having some difficulty finding exactly where Python is located on Windows, then please just send me an email uh, and we can work it out. Once we have this path, we can now go to update our path environment variable. We're going to add this path that we, cre that we found earlier. Uh, and I'm just going to copy paste it on the ready. We're going to add it to our operating system's path variable. What is the path variable? The path environment variable, and it's not just a variable, it's an environment variable. First, we should just say what an environment variable is. It's a variable that's stored on the operating system and it's used by the operating system to configure your experience. So the, the environment variables that we find on the operating system, that's both Windows and the Mac or Linux, configures your experience. And by that I mean it tells the operating system various things about you personally or about your programs or about what you want to do. And it uses the values in those variables to, you know, to decide what to do. For example, when we say where, uh, where Python, when we try to say where Python, the operating system uses the path environment variable to, uh, to look for Python. It's going to look for something called Python. You can see all three of these are Python. It's going to look for Python in, uh, in all of the locations where the path environment variable has been uh, set. The path environment variable will contain multiple paths and your goal is to add your path to the list of environment variables. Now, as I say, on this particular website, which is put out by Oracle, we have some graphics. So um, this is how to do it on Windows 10. Of course, Windows keeps changing, and every time they add a new version of Windows, they oftentimes will change things around a bit. And so this may not be perfect for you. You may need to look up instructions for your particular operating system. But the goal is to make your way through to environment variables. I guess here we're going to settings and then related settings, advanced system settings. Again, it may vary slightly. We're going to find environment variables. Sometimes on Windows, what I used to do is find the main, um, the main icon for the computer itself either here or using a Windows Explorer window. And under my computer, I would right click it and do properties and it would bring this up, system properties, which is what we're looking. And under advanced, we find environment variables. Now, usually you'll see it like this. The path environment variable um, is, is located under system variables or it may also be located under user variables. Now we prefer to change the system variables if we can because that means that anyone using your computer would have access to the same information. But it's not always possible. Sometimes you'll have a computer where the changing of the system variables has been restricted. And understandably, if you're on a shared computer, if you're on a comp company computer, they don't want you messing around with the internal configuration of the computer. But we do have user variables and that will work just as well because when you start a new command prompt session, it's going to read from both the system variables and then the user variables, and the user variables will take precedence. So if you can see a way to modify the path environment variable under system variables, then you should do that. Click edit, and then I believe you will click uh, new, and uh, you'll add a new path. Now, actually, I, unfortunately, I don't have the visuals for this, so I'm not entirely sure. There's one of two possibilities. 
One is that you have to actually edit the path itself and put your path first and then put a semicolon. You'll see that the path environment variable actually has a series of paths separated by semicolons. And you'll put yours first. You'll want to put that, that uh, path to Python first. Or it's possible that when you edit it, you'll actually see each of the paths in the path environment variable listed vertically. And you can say new and add your path. However it's done, you're going to need to possibly look up instructions for your particular OS, and hopefully you'll be able to get, um, get this done. As I say, if you can't change the system variables, then you may need to change the user variable. And if the path user variable doesn't exist, you can just create it. Create the variable, put your path in there as the value for that variable, and click uh, OK and apply or whatever you need to do to get out of the window. I'm sorry I actually don't have an active oper uh, Windows operating system to demonstrate on, but I do think that you'll be able to, with a little bit of patience, find the right instructions for you for changing that environment variable. Again, the goal is to take the path to Python and add it to the path environment variable so that Python knows where Python Sorry, that your OS knows where Python is when we work from the command line. Uh, this is a little bit incomplete because I wasn't able to do a full demo. And also we have the, um, we have the added wrinkle of uh, not knowing which Windows operating system you're running right now. So if you're running into any issues at all, please uh, give me a shout out by email.